Okay, so um, what is the molar mass of helium gas? Helium gas. So this is very similar to the molar mass of our um, looking for molar mass for uh, iron. The uh, one of the previous question. So the molar mass um, of uh, helium gas. So okay, first of all, helium gas. So helium. Uh, let's look at helium. So helium is a uh, HE, um, a gas. It's a inert gas, or uh, you can say we call it noble gas. Uh, up to you. Uh, which name we use inert gas? Okay, so we are going to find the molar mass. All right. Okay, so from here, uh, actually, I can tell you, I can see a uh, different trap over here. Okay, first the first trap is that, uh, for for example, if I ask you hydrogen gas, you put H two, coal in gas, you would put Cl two. Uh, because for uh, some of the gases, although they are formed by the element, but they the those element those atom they will uh, going to form a diatomic molecule, just to stabilize to form a stable uh, mo molecule before. Um, Exist in the I mean in a in a room temperature, so again for H two we have the two hydrogen combined together to form um, H two. Same for chlorine because it just then they can form a diatomic um, molecule. It will be easier. It will be easier for them. It will be um, uh, much more stable. Easier for them to exit. Okay, the reason is that because for their individual atom they are reactive. They are reactive. Okay, but when we move on to look at helium, uh, helium is an inert gas, noble gas. They are being called inert gas or noble gas for a reason because they just they're, they're stable. They're not going to react unless under some specific condition. So therefore, for helium gas, we're looking at a gaseous helium atom. So in this, for example, we have mass of a uh, helium. So in the midst of helium, they are individual helium atom. They are not molecule. They are atom, individual atom. So for what we are looking at, that is that we want to know want to know the molar mass of helium gas. We are going to look at the molar mass of, uh, molar mass of helium, not individual, um, um, not individual uh, molecule. Okay. So if you go back to your um. Uh, periodic table. So let me pull out mine um, from uh, real quick or your test book. Uh, you should be able to find that the um, helium molar mass is equal to f uh, roughly around four, roughly around four. So um, and we are looking at molar mass. So the unit should be uh, four gram per mole. Four gram per mole. Uh, it should be uh, four gram per mole. Okay. So it's pretty straightforward. Okay, so when we go back to our answers over here, it's 4.002602 atomic unit number. Atomic unit number. Obviously, this is not right. We are, we are looking at molar mass. We are not looking at individual atom, the mass of individual atoms. So the unit is not right, but the number is right. So the proper, the uh, correct answer should be 4. 4.002602 uh, uh, It will depend what kind of value you find But the unit must be gram per mole But we're looking at one mole of helium gas And one mole of helium gas In that helium gas, we only have atom Not by a uh, diatomic molecule, but helium is stable So we're looking at one mole of helium atom And the mass will be um, 4.0 gram per mole Okay, so for from here, the solution uh, is not correct. The proper unit should be um, gram per mole. All right, so um, so again, again, we have exactly the same um, explanation. Is that we're looking at one mole of um, Atom, so we're looking at uh, the unit gram per mole, and then we have some uh, extra example to find the molar mass, and uh, this is uh, I would say just a constant chat question, so um, we are going to skip it. Okay, so the solution is not correct.